Welcome to Jay Leno's Garage. We're here once again with Neil Mankin. He's the editor of Skin Knuckles. This is one of our favorite magazines because it's doing stuff the economical way. I don't want to say I'm the Hands cheap. Hands on. Hands on. There are so many wonderful tips for car restoration and fixing things. It's all here in Skin Knuckles magazine. It's, it's, really, it's, it's really terrific. Neil always has great stuff for us. What, what do you have today? Today I'm going to talk about an electroplating kit. It's mm -hmm. a tin zinc plating kit. It's not chrome. Right. It's a single process. Process and while we're talking, I'm just going to take this and hook it up. I would wash it thoroughly. I wouldn't right. touch it with my hands, but okay. for demonstration purpose, that's cooking. Okay. The power source is two D cell batteries. Okay, two batteries. That's all it needs and an anode. Okay. Jar of electrolyte. Basically, the metal has to be cleaned. Mm -hmm. All of the old rust and corrosion has to be removed. All right. And then it and can what's go the best way to do it? Just a wire sanding brush wheel, wire brush, whatever, okay. Uh, uh, media blasting, anything right. like that. Okay. Uh, it goes into the solution. Mm -hmm. It cooks for seven to ten minutes. Okay. And when it comes out, it comes out with a gray plating on it. Right, okay. And then it has to be polished from there. It's never going to give you the look of chrome. Right. But for certain parts of the car, it will give you protection and a bright look. I was okay. doing a carburetor recently where the linkage had all been rusted. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, a 60 year old carburetor. I took all of the, metal, the steel parts off, the linkage and the, the, the hooks and everything else, cleaned them, threw it in the plating system, put it back on the carburetor and it looked great. Right, and it, and it essentially seals it against any further corrosion. Exactly, okay. exactly. Very good. Here's a, here's a part, this is the uh, bale. Oh, from from the fuel, a fuel uh, right. And it's half plated. Right, okay. Uh, this you, is what you call a half job. This is my <laughs> dad always accused me of doing a half job, whether it was cutting the lawn, whatever it was. See where it's rusted and sure. corroded. And that was the whole thing was just in this condition. Right. It was all wire brushed down. And then when I plated it, I plated just the half of it okay. to see what it looked like. All right. This is the same piece or a similar piece. Completely plated and polished. Oh, okay. The finish is strong enough to actually polish. You oh, don't, yes, you don't just no, no, take it no. off when you go to polish it. We huh? use the Auto Soul or right. yeah, any, another any, good polish. Any good quality and it comes polish. with a kit. Okay. And you just polish this right up and it will come up to a bright finish. Not chrome, right. but bright enough to get by. Um, this is cooking right now, but right. this is what the actual kit consists of. Okay. And this is from Eastwood. Okay. It comes with two quarts of electrolyte solution, Right. comes with a jar, funnel, right. glasses, gloves, the whole thing. That's the zinc anode. Uh, uh, we would call this a bent piece of metal, but when you're buying it, it's a zinc anode. At the prices they charge, it's right. a zinc anode. It's a zinc anode, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, okay. But, uh, well, it's very soft. Isn't what, it? We, yeah, yeah. What, we, what we do is just straighten it out, right. put a little hook in it, right. and it fits into the electrolyte jar. Gotcha. One, and what is the purpose of the anode? What does that do? That is the metal that actually is plating on onto the to the part cool. through the electrolyte. And this lasts quite a while. Yeah. I've, I've been using this one for quite some time now. Gotcha. A lot of different parts, and it's working fine. This is the the anode. The red lead connects to the anode. The black lead connects to the part. Right. Everything comes with the kit. And it's, it's really very, very inexpensive to get right, a right. plating thing. You send anything out to a plater. Right. And it's going to cost you $50, $60. Well, the scariest thing about part. sending stuff to a plater is you don't, hey, wait a minute, this is missing. <coughs> or right. a little peel, the wheel is gone, or whatever. They, they it fell lose off in the everything. Tank or whatever. They yeah, lose yeah, everything. Yeah. But here for $70, you get a plating kit, everything yeah. you need. You put it all together, you do it yourself, you control it. I'm cutting corners now. I'm going to take this out. I don't know how long it's been cooking. Yeah. But it has to, oh, there, there is a plating on there. Yeah. It's supposed to be washed thoroughly. No, we should do all like, we should do minutes. like Martha Stewart does. You have the other oven. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at that. Uh, right, oh, look at, oh my gosh, look how it came out so beautiful. Right before your eyes. Yeah. And that's a plated piece. No, very cool. This is what it looks like before it went in. Right. And this is what it looks like. Yeah. I had two of them together when it comes out. Yeah. And there is a coating of plating on there. Yeah. Here it is. This piece was plated and half polished. Right, okay. And boy, it polishes right up, doesn't it? Very cool. And this is the same part. How long can you use the same electrolyte solution over, over and over? And over and over oh, and over oh, again, really? yes. Quite a, quite a while. Yeah, and yeah. it's a, a replacement is only a few dollars. Right, right. You can get the replacement electrolyte and or the anode oh, okay. from Eastwood. And this is a plated piece. And it looks great. 
It's fast, it's easy, it's fun. Yeah, there I you mean, go. it really is fun. Very cool. Good. Neil, thank you very much. Thank you, Jay.